This is a three two minute round contest at 56 kilos for a Cadet K1 fight. For your applause, fighting out of the blue corner, Shay Hammond. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner from BBSK, Alfie Lynch. Cadet K1 rules bout here. And we have Alfie Lynch from the BBSK in Fetford. And Shay Hammond from the Leicester Kickboxing Club. Head to head here at 17 years old. Debutant Hammond. Fighting out the blue corner. And Lynch is uh, on, his, on his sixth fight now. Three wins, one loss, one draw. He recently became WKO Five Nations Open champion. But Hammond has done MMA in the past and has two wins to his name undefeated there. Alfie's Hammond doesn't look like a debutant to start. You know, Alfie, Alfie's moving really nice in and out. Nice angle created there for his kick so that he could get his right hand off. Almost like the right low kick was a feint for the right hand, wasn't it? That sure was a sign of experience as well. Oh, nice work. Nice work from Alfie. Really good start. David, these two guys, they are feeling each other a little bit. Yeah, they're kind of sussing each other out a bit. Uh, I like how Al Alfie's throwing some really good combinations, but it, it seems like Hammond's taking centre of the ring and trying to take control of the fight. Good left hand. Back to the ropes. Comes back to the body with two right hands. Switches kicks fluently as well. Great skills on display here. He's finding his range now, isn't he, Alfie? Superb, yeah. Look how stylistically he just moves out of the way of that head kick as well. This, this is how you have to fight when you're on the back foot. You've got to be in and out, hit and move. Nice footwork there, a little bit show off. That's right, you want to fight counter, I say it all the time. You've got to be big in your responses. You have to be vicious and violent when you get that chance, you know. You can't, there's no point in just moving out the way of everything without scoring. This kid looks like a great counter fighter to me. Under pressure now, though. Yeah. From Hammond. That's what Hammond really needs to do. He needs to put him in the corner against the ropes. Otherwise, Alfie's just going to dance around him. Nice opening round yeah. from Alfie Lynch there. Brilliant. Good first round, I think. Both fighters showed encouragement, but Alfie took that. Brilliant footwork, brilliant confidence. Really does look at home in there, doesn't he? Yeah, Hammond, Hammond this round really needs to start cutting the ring off. And just not letting them get that space to, to counter the shot off. He's a little bit too excited for me at the moment. He's a little bit too uncomposed. If you, if you look at Lynch, he's in the zone, isn't he? He's in the zone, his timing's there. And that's a little bit of the difference to me. away, tries to kick the inside leg and just charges out the trap, exchanges, the head guard's giving him problems there, Lynch, but referee 
Almost pulls his head off with the, uh, <laughs> with the cord. Oh, I don't like head guards. I'm not a big fan of them. It's up to these fighters and Bigger up targets. to their trainers. I think yeah. at, at that age, they have to wear them, though, and that's, that's probably right. Yep. I think they do give you more problems as well, though. Oh, good knee on the way in there. Not seeing confidently kneeing at the moment under a K1 kickboxing rule set. It's almost like a kickboxing bout, isn't it? Kickboxing with the occasional right knee thrown in. Yeah. At the moment, if you just look here, that would be the weapon for Hammond for me. Just as he treads in here, that's where I'll be throwing the knee up the midsection. Better round from Hammond so far. Not too much between them. The determination's doing him well, isn't it? It is, and Alfie's not as slick this round. No, his timing's out a little bit, isn't it? Yeah, he's round. not He's not finding the, the range that he was in the first first round, is he, Alfie? But I have to see that could be Hammond, though, not giving him the range, so... Has he got two Ooh, cut? Nice Great knee. knee. That's the curse of the commentator right there. Tuck done pull his head down. I'm not sure how... I'm not really sure about that one. Let's go with the referee. Beautiful backhand. Good southpaw stance. Great timing, wasn't it? Took his time, thought about it. The accuracy was superb. So when Alfie relaxes and he composes himself, that's when he gets his best work off. He's got lovely footwork, Ooh. hasn't he, Alfie? Superb. Absolutely superb. Beautiful Hammond's good, though. Hit. He doesn't need to have great... If someone's skipping around, your footwork doesn't have to be great sometimes. You can just march these people down. And that, that's what Hammond's doing. And he's made a better fight of it in that round. Conserved his energy a bit more, but Alfie looks like a very, very fit kid. He doesn't look like he's going to gas out anytime soon. Less in it, but I would still probably edge towards Alfie in that round. Don't forget those head guards. They do seem to tie you out as well. They heat the head up and yeah. um, also make it a bigger target when you're getting hit. Yeah. There's a lot of pros and cons going on about head guards at the moment, whether they're good or bad. Thing. Forever, and it is not for today, of course, but. I respect the decision of any fighter and their corner team. All right, so Hammond has to do something big in this round for me. if he can do it then. David, do you think he's got the attributes to get this fight round now? I mean, I, I, don't, I don't think he... I think this, it's Alfie's to lose, really, isn't it? Here. It's, it's just great, great footwork there. Yeah, he's overreaching, but Alfie's superior footwork is, is taking him, himself out of range. Hits the body well as well sometimes. Takes a cheeky body shot with his right hand. Happy to just box through in the southpaw stance and hammer the body and, and utilise the left knee, left knee. A lot of work can be done on that left knee. Now starting to tire the two fighters. Just seeing the pace go out of those shots now. Just getting untidy, isn't it? A little bit scrappy. But still, he's going to get penalised for that double arm. Yeah. Oh, that's nice superb. Yeah. Under the rule set, that was superb. Held the head, brought the knee up to the head, let go, and then let his shot go. So when Alfie keeps his distance right, the it just flows so well for him. It looks it, a bit rock now, doesn't he? He's unloaded. Like he's hurt the body. Yeah. This is a showcase from Lynch. Just starting to put that distance between the fighters. Just brought it out. I thought he was too tired for that flurry there, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, but the confidence is coming out and I can see him going yep. in strong now. He's looking for that body shot. Oh, nice. Great left hand. Yeah. Great left hook. There's the shot. That's the end That's of the fight. It. Good decision from the referee. The fighter's annoyed, but listen, the referee has to look after you in there, my friend. Young fighters don't need to take any more damage than what's necessary. That was no. a good show from both guys. I don't think he was going to win that fight from there on, do you? No. no. Very slick performance from Alfie. Oh, he's found a lot of energy now, Lynch, since he's got the stoppage. Isn't it funny how energetic you get after a fight? You think there's nothing left and you get the decision. It's that <laughs> machoism, isn't it? That yeah. boost of testosterone. <laughs> I've forgotten, 42 years old. 
that, that boost the bar few between. Great fight for Lynch. Listen, great fight for Shea Hammond. Get your head up, kid. He looks so disappointed over there. He's got a good team around him. They'll pick him up. We will see him again. I assure you that. He had some great stages in that game as well. Yeah, well, ladies and gents, let's have a big round of applause for both the lads here. Shea Hammond and Alfie Lynch. If we could ask you both to go to the ref for the official decision, that will be appreciated. A big thank you to uh, Wensum Print Limited from Norwich for their uh, sponsorship for this evening's event. Ladies and gents, after one minute and 35 seconds of your third and final round, your winner by way of stoppage, fighting out of the red corner, Alfie Lynch. Please, ladies and gents, give a big round of applause for his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, Shea. Hammond!